Today we are diving into one of the most technical interview questions on Java concepts, which is very crucial aspects of your career journey. So, if you are preparing for a job interview for any of the roles or in any company, you are in the right place to learn now. Please stay tuned till the end of this video. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Career Hub. I am on the mission to help and support people who are eagerly looking to get a job. If you are new to this channel, please make sure to hit on the subscribe button and stay tuned till end of this video. So, before we begin, please don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up to my channel. Now, without any further delay, let's get straight into the topic now. In this video, I will be covering first one is 25 often asked Java interview questions, which will be covering like basic concepts, data structure and algorithms, multi threading and concurrency, and the last is exception handling. And the second point is like I will be giving the sample answers for all the 25 questions and third one is I am providing the code snippets wherever required for your reference. Alright, let me start with the first question from the basic concepts that is what are the main features of Java. So this is mostly asked question in the Java technical interview for freshers or uh, 5 years or 10 years experienced uh, Java interviews. So the answer will be something like this, Java is multi-threaded, portable, distributed, simple and secure and robust or when you are saying all these features, please make sure you know something about that words, what you were stating there. For example, if you are saying that it is Java is distributed, then you should say it supports distributed computing via tools like RMI that is remote method invocation. So please prepare or you can go through these features whatever we have listed out here for effective statements or effective answer. Now the second question is what is the difference between JDK, JRE and JVM? So when you are preparing for this question make sure at least you have prepared for two, two or three sentences to answer about the JDK, JRE and JVM. See for example, if you take JVM, the engine that runs bytecode and provides platform independence, it handles tasks like memory management and garbage collection. So try to go through these three answers for JDK, JRE and JVM and prepare well. Third question is, explain OOP concepts or OOPS concept we will say. That is, you can mention about uh, inheritance, polymorphism, encapsulation or abstraction. So here I have given with the, all the answers and with the example, for example, you can say here inheritance, polymorphism and encapsulation. If I am taking polymorphism, I am saying that allows method to take multiple forms. For example, method overloading and overriding allow for flexibility in how methods are called. So this covers the answer plus example. So you can go through the same way kind of uh, examples with the answer for inheritance, encapsulation, polymorphism and abstraction. Fourth question is what is a class and what is an object? So here we can say for class a blueprint that defines data and behavior that is fields and methods. So for example a car which can be called as a class can have attributes like color and model and then comes to object an instance of a class so object is a instance of a class so you can uh, you can refer this example and you can prepare for other examples you can just refer these examples to prepare well for to tuning them or to come up with the new examples fifth question is what are constructors in java so here we can say constructors are special methods used to in initialize the objects they have the same name as the class and it will not have any return types so for example you can refer this uh, snippet the code snippet and you can uh, refer them or you can practice with the new example now question number six is what is the difference between method overloading and method overriding so here method overloading is which allows a class to have more than one method with the same name but with the different parameters either type number or both of them so example i have given here and you can refer that for your practice later and if you are coming to the method overriding we can say when a subclass provides a specific implementation of a method that is already defined in its superclass so example the code snippet is given here you can refer them and please practice with the different examples now the question number seventh is what is the difference between an abstract class and an interface so here in abstract class 
इट कैन बोथ abstract that is no body and non abstract methods a class can extend only one abstract class and for the example is given here a uh, code snippet you can just go through them for your reference and the second one is interface it can only have abstract methods by default and for example if you take java 8 plus which will allow default and static methods a class can implement multiple interfaces and java code example is given here you can refer them for your better understanding now the question number 8 is what is the purpose of the static keyword in java you can mention here about static variable static method and static block if you are taking the static variable it belongs to the class and shared by all the instances and in static method it can be called without creating an instance of the class and in the static block it executes when the class is loaded and used for static initializations question number 9 is explain the concept of inheritance and how it's implemented in java so now if you are taking the inheritance it allows a subclass to acquire properties and behaviors of a superclass using the extends keyword so example a course snippet i have given here please go through that for your better understanding Question number 10 is what is the final keyword in java and when it can be used or where it can be used so we have the final keyword we can make use of them in three forms that is final variable final method and final class so if you are taking final variable once it is assigned its value cannot be changed and if you are coming to the method cannot be overridden by subclasses and in the final class it cannot be subclassed for example public final class string you can refer this code for better understanding now the question number 11th is what is the difference between an array and array list in java so array is like fixed in size and can store primitives and objects for example the code is given here and in the array list dynamic in size and can store only objects and part of the java.util package for example the uh, the code's nice snippet is given here please refer them to understand in a better way Now question number 12 is explain how hash map works in java so here hash map stores key value pairs in buckets using hashing each key's hash code determines its bucket so if multiple keys have the same hash code that is collision hash map uses a linked list or a balanced tree to store the values question number 13th is what is a set in java and how is it different from a list answers can be something like this set is it does not allow duplicates and may not maintain order for example hash set and list is it allows duplicates and maintains the insertion order examples you can see here array list now the question number 14th is what is the significance of the equals and hash code methods in java so here equals method will have checks if two objects are logically equivalent whereas in hash code it provides a unique integer for each object for hash based collections like hash map objects that are equals should have the same hash code now the question number 15 is what is the difference between comparable and comparator interfaces in java so comparable is which is used to define the natural ordering of objects within the class so example is given here and in the comparator allows custom sorting logic outside the class by overriding the compare method and example code snippets snippets are given for both of uh, them comparable and comparator please refer them now question number 16 is what is multi threading in java so here java allows multiple threads to run concurrently sharing resources like memory so threads can be created by extending thread or implementing runnable also you can come up with the examples if you are already worked on uh, java concepts in your uh, the present role or in your uh, academic projects you can mention them to have a better understanding of multi threading in java now the question number 17 is explain the difference between a thread and a process so here we can say thread is a lightweight sub process that shares memory with other threads and the process is a self contained execution environment with its own memory space now the question number 18th is what is synchronization in java and why is it needed 
So here synchronization ensures that only one thread accesses a resource at a time to avoid data inconsistency. Achieved using the synchronized keyword. Question number 19 is what is a deadlock and how it can be avoided? So deadlock occurs when two or more threads are waiting for each other to release the resources. It can be avoided using proper locking mechanisms and acquiring locks in a consistent order. Question number 20th that is what are volatile, join and sleep methods in Java. So here if you start from volatile, it guarantees visibility of changes to variables across threads. And if you are coming to the join, it causes the current thread to wait until another thread finishes the execution. And in the sleep method, it pauses the execution of the current thread for a specified time. Now we will cover exception handling questions. So the question number 21 is, what is exception handling in Java? So exception handling is a mechanism to handle runtime errors in Java, ensuring the program runs very smoothly, managed using try, catch, finally and throw methods. Now the question number 22 is, explain the difference between checked and unchecked exceptions. In the checked exceptions must be handled at compile time, for example, IO exceptions. And in unchecked exceptions, runtime exceptions that don't need to be declared or caught. That is, for example, arithmetic exception. Question number 23rd is, what is the difference between throw and throws in Java? So, throw is, it is used to explicitly throw an exception. Throws is, it declares the exception a method might throw. Question number 24th is, what is the purpose of try catch finally blocks in java so try is block of code that might throw an exception and catch is the block to handle the exceptions and finally is block executed after try catch used for cleanup like closing the files and next the last question is 25th that is what are custom exceptions in java and how they are used or how they are created so here the answer will be so for example custom exceptions in java are that is user defined exceptions by extending the exception or runtime exception class so example code snippet is given here for your better understanding please go through the codes the examples in all the 25 questions wherever it is possible i have given the code snippets as well i hope these questions and answers will help you to understand the essential java concepts often discussed in the technical interviews and if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment about the Java interview questions you have ever faced. Thanks for watching and good luck for your preparation and job hunt.